Well, let me just say that we are disappointed uh, by the Supreme Court's ruling today. Uh, the Second Amendment, as you've heard the President say, is not obsolete. Uh, and permits common sense gun regulation. Uh, Justice Department defended New York's concealed carry law, which had been in place since 1911 and imposed only a modest burden on most gun owners. The law applied only to handguns and public places and contained an exception for people who could establish an actual articulable need for self-defense. Despite the setbacks, the president earlier urged states to continue to enact and enforce common sense laws to make their citizens and, and communities safer uh, for gun violence. We cannot idly stand by and just watch our streets be flooded with guns due to more people being permitted to legally carry firearms in public. We must take significant action to protect our city's residents. When New Yorkers are being victimized by gun violence due to the soaring influx of, of legal and illegal guns, putting them even more, uh, even more firearms into the hands of people in public spaces, that will have dangerous consequences. Our proposed solution encourages the state to tailor a law that accounts for New York City's high population density as a factor in establishing specific parameters for the designation of sensitive areas where legal firearms are prohibited from being carried by members of the public. The ability to designate sensitive areas where citizens are prohibited from carrying concealed firearms is a framework that is still respected by the highest court and one to be utilized to prioritize public safety. Prohibiting the possession of legal firearms in sensitive facilities such as hospitals and poll sites is not only good for public safety, it's just plain common sense. This is probably the most significant ruling the Supreme Court has made on the Second Amendment, expanding gun rights, and probably the most dangerous. Uh, it's sweeping. It will have a big impact. It will mean more guns and more violence and more crime in all likelihood. When the Second Amendment was ratified in 1791, there were 33,000 people living in New York City. Now there are 8 million and, and, and more. The notion that more guns, more people secretly carrying guns, more people who think they're a good guy with a gun. The notion that that's going to make everybody safer would be a surprise to most New Yorkers, I suspect. But the impact of this ruling goes well beyond even New York and its law. The country is moving in one direction, and the Supreme Court just lurched very hard in the other direction. Uh, this ruling comes out at a time when the country is reeling from all these horrible mass shootings, when we all know about the everyday violence from guns uh, in our communities and in, in uh, people's lives, and where Congress, on a bipartisan basis for the first time in a long time, is actually crafting some legislation to address guns and gun violence. The only way for things to actually reform and change is if more um, tested, like, you know what I'm trying to say, like protocols uh, for people to get the guns, so if that makes sense. Like, I don't think that, I think there is a, a need for the Second Amendment, but I don't, I think there needs to be more regulations on how and when people get them. Um, and I think why people get nervous is because they're like, oh, more regulations means I won't ever get it. And it's like, no, we're not saying that. We're saying, hey, it's looking like it's getting too easy for the wrong people to get it. So let's just make it a little harder for them. And you're still going to pass. You're still going to get your gun. You're still going to be able to do what you want to do and hold it. I'm not saying don't do that. I'm saying, hey, let's maybe stop 18 year olds from getting it and move the, the year, the years up a little bit more. I think it's dangerous. I mean, as a, I'm a native New Yorker, I always felt safe knowing, I mean, not that they were necessarily hidden, but I just felt safer before. And I don't know, now seeing a gun out, somebody could snatch it out your waist and then shoot people. I mean, it's going to be chaos.